10 Crazy Facts About Confectionery Number 1. Cotton candy was invented by a dentist. Yes, this favourite sugary treat found at carnivals and fairs was created by American dentist William Morrison in partnership with confectioner John C. Wharton. Although various forms of spun sugar have existed throughout history, Mr. Morrison and Mr. Wharton are credited with the creation of the very first cotton candy machine. Originally, the product was marketed at the 1904 World's Fair as Fairy Floss, which is the name that is still in use in Australia. In many parts of the world, such as the UK, South Africa and New Zealand, the treat is known as Candy Floss. One must wonder what business does a dentist have in inventing an edible cotton that is made from 100% sugar? Hmm. Number 2. The two M's in M&M's stand for Mars and Murray. Forrest Mars Sr. was an American businessman and the driving force of the Mars candy empire. Bruce Murray was the son of Hershey Chocolates President William Murray and had a 20% share in the product. Number 3. Female arousal is most enhanced by the scent of good and plenty licorice candy and cucumber. Yes, a 2005 study titled Exploring the Potentials of Human Olfaction found that women were most aroused by the smell of good and plenty in combination with cucumber. The smell of cherries, barbecued meat and men's cologne all acted to inhibit female arousal. Men, don't take your date on a barbecue. Number 4. White chocolate is not chocolate. In order to qualify as chocolate, a product must contain cocoa solids. And white chocolate does no such thing. Instead, it's usually made from a combination of cocoa butter, lecithin, a fatty emulsifier, milk products, sugar and vanilla. Although cocoa butter is derived from cocoa beans, the same place that cocoa solids come from, chocolate purists insist that white chocolate is not chocolate despite being made from the same plant. Number 5. The most searched for chocolate bars. According to online search results, North Americans and Chinese love Mars bars, Australian and New Zealanders love Cadbury Caramilk, Russians love Lindt Excellence bars, Indians and Mongolians love Cadbury Dairy Milk, while Scandinavians and Germans love Tony's Chocolate Only Milk Chocolate. Number 6. Benjamin Franklin sold chocolate in his print shop in Philadelphia. Yes, the American founding father and inventor had to pay the bill somehow during his early years, so he decided to sell chocolate, considered at the time to be a luxury item. It was also touted for its medicinal use. Number 7. Gummy bears mixed with hot potassium chlorate equal gummy death. A Washington DC science teacher's experiment went viral in 2008 where he shoved a red gummy bear into a test tube of hot KClO3, causing a prolonged fiery explosion. Number 8. Before sugar was readily available, candy was based on honey. Honey was used in ancient China, the Middle East, Egypt, Greece and the Roman Empire to coat fruits and flowers to preserve them or to create forms of candy. Number 9. Candy was once a delicacy. In Europe during the Middle Ages, the high cost of sugar made sugar candy a delicacy available only to the very wealthy. At that time, it was thought to be an aid to digestive problems. Digestive problems were very common during this time due to the constant consumption of food that was neither fresh nor well balanced. In 18th century America, even the simplest form of candy, rock candy, made from crystallized sugar, was considered a luxury. Number 10. In Japan, adults can buy sake-flavored Kit Kats, which contain 0.8% alcohol. They also sell whiskey-flavored Pocky Sticks. Yum! And that's 10 crazy facts about confectionery. Leave a thumbs up if you think that the dentist who invented cotton candy did so to create more demand for his dental services. <laughs> <laughs>